Greetings. I have one major question for all of you in the audience tonight. Has any of you ever seen a UFO? Please raise your hand, don't be embarrassed. You? Yes, you over there, you? Yeah, I bet you have. Well, I have good news for all of you. You, my friends, are not crazy. It's okay. In fact, I myself have seen a UFO before, and I must say it was one of the most thrilling, intense, life-shattering experiences that I've ever felt to the core of my soul. My roommate and I, we were at South Mountain, which is a very high rate of UFO sightings, and we saw this big, beautiful light come down from the sky, this blue light, and as it slowed down, there were these like interdimensional ripples coming off the sides, and then before we knew it, it was gone. But we were so shocked that we just drove aimlessly in that direction hoping we would find like a ship or flames or an impact crater or the military or something. Well, we didn't find anything that night, but what we did find was later. We found UFO conferences. In fact, we got so knee deep in UFO conferences that we now are volunteers there and we run the audiovisual for all of the speeches for years now. In fact, my own band, Captain Squeegee, played the UFO conference and at these at these conferences, I have heard it all. I've heard from Russian, ex Russian military, I've heard from Chilean military generals, I've heard from ex-Canadian government, astrophysicists, you name it. And they're all saying that this is a very real phenomenon. Edgar Mitchell himself, the fourth man to walk on the moon, now publicly says that UFOs are very real and it is very likely that some of them are not from this planet. That dude's been in space, okay? <laughs> Even the Vatican, the Vatican, they recently finally said that it no longer compromises your faith to believe in aliens. Yeah, in fact, in fact, they said that aliens would be our brothers. Beautiful. But you know, it's not just science and religion that are finally talking about the subject. Media is saturated with it. I mean, you can't walk into a toy store or turn on the television or go into a movie theater without seeing something about UFOs and aliens. I mean, we are obsessed. It's, it's almost like it's in our human nature to care about this subject. It's almost like we instinctually need to know if we're alone or not in this universe. Now this is not a new idea. This guy Francis Drake in the 60s, he's developed this thing called the Drake Equation. And he, what he did was he put all these variables together like habitable planets and stars and societies and how long it takes and he figured out beyond a mathematical certainty that for sure extraterrestrial life, intelligent extraterrestrial life, exists somewhere else in the universe. And since then, we've multiplied the amount of estimated stars over and over again. We just tripled it, and it wasn't even on the front page. Now there's this other guy after Drake, Fermi, and he thought of the Fermi paradox, which is, well, if there's aliens everywhere, how come we haven't seen any? But that's a stupid question. <laughs> I mean, the better question is, would we be informed? And the obvious answer is no, of course not. I mean, mysterious alien visitors from another planet that obviously falls in the category of threats to national security. Just like terrorism or foreign spies or nukes, you know, all that stuff you don't get to hear about. The American government employed 130,000 people to develop the nuclear bomb in the 60s and somehow they all kept it a secret. They didn't even tell their families. Yeah, so secrets are possible. In fact, just like this letter from John F. Kennedy, where he's requesting all information on UFOs from the CIA. But you can guess how that worked out for him. You may see all these censored black lines on the UFO document, okay? And all declassified documents look like that, where there's these big black censored lines, and that used to really piss me off. But now, it gets me excited, because it means there's something I am not supposed to see. It means that there's something Right? And I realize now that that is something I deserve to see, that we all deserve to see. I believe that information will become the next human right that we fight for on this planet. And information about ETs and UFOs could totally revolutionize the future of our society philosophically and technology. So please, I ask you, look on the internet. Turn off the TV, shut the textbooks, look it up for yourself. It might freak you out for a week, but that's okay. <laughs> And please, above all else, I ask you, all Phoenicians, home of the Phoenix Lights, please, just look up. The truth is out there. Thank you. Peace and love.